Aha, my heart is a dinky do. It's uh, just me, Scotty McClue. The time is coming up to a quarter past midnight on Saturday night. And I thought, quick pop up just to say hi to everybody, see who's about, and dinky do. We popped up earlier, of course, with the phone in, never miss that, Saturday nights. And that's at nine o'clock sharp. And uh, we always join in on the old TikTok, of course, very, very important. Thank you very much. So do come and join me and say hi. Uh, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. I want to know what you're at, of course, and uh, we can uh, exchange chat. That's what it's about. Did you do? Welcome, welcome, I say. Neil, thank you very much. So very, very good of you. And a very, very warm welcome, of course. Excellent stuff. You're watching Scotty McClure, hashtag float high, the first lord of the internet. And uh, a pleasant evening, everyone. Neil, they are very, very kind, lovely to have you with us, and a very pleasant evening to you, I say. The reason I'm popping up right now is I was hoping that maybe some of our American clients would be about. I know it's early evening Eastern, Eastern Standard Time, EST, and we are on BST, British Summer Time. Good evening, Scotty Dinky Doo from Norwich. Neil, how lovely to have you with us from Norwich, and I know that you are a long-time viewer of Scotty McClue. Fantastic stuff. So nothing wrong with a quick pop-up Saturday night. Well, into Sunday morning, really, aren't we? So how do we record this one? Do we put it as Saturday night, or do we put it as Sunday morning? You tell me. Fantastic. Evening, Scotty. Hello from Tennessee in the United States. Andy. Excellent. That's what I like to see. A lot of our US people that don't get a chance to join us during the week because we're popping up at uh, British summertime in the United Kingdom. So it's great that you're here. There's your US guy. Absolutely, Jack. So mission fulfilled, mission accomplished, mission possible, I say to you. And dinky do, that's fantastic. Gary's just joined us. Welcome, Gary. Lovely to have you with us. Is this a good time to pop up? I always want to know from you guys. And we've got that wonderful man, Andy, from Tennessee in the United States of America. Y'all have a nice day now. Uh, there we are, late one tonight, Scotty. Well, Sarah, I thought we'd just pop up. It's not necessarily a late one. We pop up random all the time. But I thought we'd pop up. I'm trying to find a really good optimum time during the week when everybody can get together on TikTok. You know, now this might be it. This might not. We just have to see. So there we are. Perhaps it's late for the UK. Are you a UK lady, Sarah? That's what we wonder. How's the contract going, Scotty? So there we are. Are we having a new show as yet? Well, Neil, the chat still goes on. It only takes one switched on programmer to say yes. And they go, the man from such and such, he say yes. You see? It reminds me of an old advert. Uh, so we'll see what's what. Follow us as soon as you can. Thank you, Reedy. Very much appreciated. Guys, everybody with a TikTok account should be following Scotty McClure. There we are. We're always free at the point of delivery, of course. But uh, you can see I set a little goal. Somebody said to me, no, no, always set a goal anyway, because there will be people who want to give you something. So we've set it at a hand hearts. And we've set it at this two have arrived already. 7.23 p.m. here in Tennessee. Well, Andy, this is what I was wondering. I mean, is half seven, eight o'clock a good time for uh, the good burgers of the United States to come and do a bit of TikToking? Would that be good stuff? Remember, Top Gear went to Nashville in Tennessee with the cars. We used to do a late night YouTube car show. Very good, very successful. There we are. Hello, sir. How's your evening, Mark? How lovely to have you with us and dinky do. Excellent evening. Uh, is everybody asleep in the United Kingdom? Can you wish my mate Kieran a happy birthday? Of course I can, Mike. Uh, Tennessee. Yes, Tennessee in the United States. There we are, dinky do. How are you, Scotty? Dinky do. Nikki. How good that you've come to join us. This is an absolute delight. Fantastic. Yes, good time to start. Good one, Andy. So I know the talk shows in America tended to be early evening. 
Our talk shows went out a bit later. I did 10 p.m., you know. There we are, fantastic stuff. And thank you to Simon Smiling. Nikki, you very kindly sent me red roses. What a beautiful, beautiful thing to do. Um, guys, uh, you never, ever need to give Scotty McClure anything. Always free at the point of delivery. We had to send an idiot down the Swanee the other night because we'd set a goal and he went, oh, you're asking for money. I said, no, we're never, ever asking for money. Do I recognize you from the radio, Ben J? You will indeed. Yes, I have a radio face, as you know. Thank you, Scotty boy. Uh, fantastic. How is Jan? Fantastic, Darren. I worked with Jan. What a great guy. Uh, so there we are. Darren's just become a top viewer. Down the swanee with them. Yes, any trolls on Scotty McClue go straight down the swanee. That's what we do with them. Nikki, you're very kind and very generous. Nikki's just sent me red roses. Is that not beautiful? Oh, huge amounts of red roses. 20, 20 red roses. There you are, you've sent. Darren has sent four. Nikki sent 17. Darren's now sending another 10, 12, 14, 15. My goodness, what are you all like? Uh, my goodness, Darren, thank you. Stop, stop. He's gone past the 30. <laughs> Nikki's now sending me more red roses. Nikki, what are you doing? Darren, has, Darren, what are you doing? Darren has sent 58 red roses. Darren Meekin, one of the most generous people in the world. Nikki McHugh, what are you doing? Another 50. 60. Nikki, what are you playing at? Nikki, you've just become a top viewer. You can stop. You can stop. She sent me another 80. No, more than 80. 90. Oh, my goodness. This is embarrassing. 100 red roses from Nikki. Thank you, Nikki. She's gone past it. She's 105. Darren's doing another five. We've got the competition, the Wars of the Roses, guys. Everybody's sending me red roses. Nikki has sent 140. Darren has sent another 40. Nikki sent 150. Darren sent another 66. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, my days. The Wars of the Roses, what are you all like? Thank you so much, Darren. Thank you so much, Nikki. How are you doing without glasses? Have you had your lenses done? No, Jeff. I've never, ever had, well, I had lenses in 1984. Uh, I had them then. I had them from about 1980 to 1984. And then I used to go on the glasses. But uh, I don't use them now. I think as you get older, you get changes in eyesight, obviously. Trouble sleeping, Mr. McClure. I'm sorry to hear that, Galileo. But at least you've got McClure. You can sit up and keep me company. Jeff Dinky. Oh, sunglasses. Fantastic. These are the glasses. But I can't see a thing with them uh, when I'm, I'm talking to you. I can't, I can't read as close as that with them. Uh, no problem at all, Scotty. Love your live. Nikki, that was so lovely of you, though. That was just so very, very, very generous. Dinky do, Scotty. The roses are a gift from my good friend, Jan Mulby. I love Jan Mulby. What a great man. A wonderful footballer and a lovely broadcaster. Jan used to work with me at Century Radio. No, I meant you trouble sleeping. No. No, Caledio. I could sleep on a sixpence. I've never, ever, ever had trouble sleeping. I can assure you. Uh, encourage the viewers. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Wally has just joined us. We thought this might be a good time to pop up. So there we are, dinky do. Now then, Simon, we don't like that. So there we are. So we're going to mute you. Simon's getting muted for being cheeky. There we are, we'll mute him. How long do we mute Simon for the whole live? No, we'll, we'll, we'll mute him for five minutes. And if he hasn't learned his lesson, then we'll, uh, we'll send him down the swanee. So uh, that's him. So Simon is muted for five minutes for cheeking up. There we are. We don't like that. That's it. Respect on here, I say. 
Honda. Thank you to Honda's just joined. Guys, follow me as soon as you come on. All right, very important. Hi from Stirling in Scotland. Callum, thank you, dude. What did he say? He was just been cheeky about a friend of mine, uh, and we don't like that. Uh, good footballer, Mulvey, absolutely, Kalelio. And as I say, a very nice man. I thoroughly enjoyed working with him. Follow us as soon as you can. Wally, thank you for following what a really thoroughly decent human thing to do. Guys, we never, ever beg. Brian says, I remember you on Clyde. Yes, the Clyde Keeley. I can remember talking to a radio friend of mine down south. He said, what are you doing these days? I said, I'm presenting the Clyde Keeley. He said, uh, what's that? I said, it's a Keeley. He said, oh, I, I couldn't even spell that. <laughs> Just send them doing the Clyde Scotty. Absolutely, Neil. No, we send them doing the Swanee. I remember you back in the day, Wally, absolutely. Yo, says Bailey. Yo, Bailey, old man. Good stuff. There we go. Now then, good to have you with us. And dinky do, if you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, hashtag float I, the first lot of the internet. There we have it. My dad used to call in and do a prank call. Good one, Brian. We like it. We loved when your dad called in. I'm not sure which prank call he was, but we thoroughly enjoyed having him. Somebody once said to me about the phone ins, and they said, are you taking the mince out of them, or are they taking the mince out of you? I said, it doesn't matter, as long as somebody's taking the mince. <laughs> Dinky Doo from Wilmington uh, in North Carolina. Larry, how lovely to have you with us, and good to know that you're about. You're looking great, Scotty. Thank you, Brian. Lovely to have you with us, Dinky Do. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. We want to build up the followers. And we've set a little goal there of hand hearts if anybody is feeling flush. Brian's giving us the old strong, fantastic. Follow us as soon as you can. Thank you, Chesso. Uh, there's Jason, Dinky Do, Scotty Boy. We shout out for Jason and Dean and the night shift. Out in the North Sea, Jason, we love you guys out in the North Sea. You are brave men of great courage. We send you love and blessings to the North Sea. Is it a wild night tonight? Do you think Scotland will be independent? I think Brexit was the final nail in the coffin of the United Kingdom. And I think the Tories have all but ensured the Scots now want independence. So there you have it. Could you remind us where your grandfather watched? Yes, Jeff. My grandfather, well, one of them was a lemonade manufacturer, an aerated water manufacturer, and the other one was on the Crinan Canal. So there you are. Fantastic. Uh, send us more red roses. I thank you very much, Larry Tipper. You are very, very kind. These wonderful people earlier, the Wars of the Roses, they just went bananas and sent me every last red rose on TikTok, I think. Dinky do, I see you, Jimmy. Dinky do. Jeff has sent me an audience. Did you see them all clapping? Audience laughter. Jeff, you're very, very kind. I thank you for that. And Dinky do. Alexander's joined us. Thank you to Alexander. Lovely to have you with us and a very, very warm welcome to Scotty McClue, hashtag float eye. Just for you popping up to say dinky do on Saturday night into Sunday. So I think what we'll do, guys, we'll put this up as a Sunday morning early bird. Otherwise, people will get confused as to when we started. Dinky do. Thank you for your audience laughter. Wonderful stuff. Dinky do J. Jennings. Bless you. Lovely to have you with us. Have I done the right thing, guys? I've put up some goals there. And oh, who has sent me a dog? A corgi. Larry Tipper. Oh, I feel like the Queen. <laughs> Edinburgh should be the UK capital and the monarchy should be at Holyrood House or Balmoral. Do you know some random drummer? You're talking great wisdom. When I looked at the state of the two candidates for UK Prime Minister, 
I thought, you know, our first minister could knock them into a cocked hat. Yes, Nicola Sturgeon. I think that the Tories should have approached her and said, Nicola, would you come to Westminster and run a national government because we've lost it down here? That's what I think. The monarchy should definitely be at Holyrood House, although I'm not sure Holyrood's the Queen's favourite residence. Uh, there's Ali. Good morning from Australia, Scotty. Ali, how lovely to have you with us down under from Oz. Fantastic. And dinky do. Thank you very much. Thank you for following us. And dinky do, I say to you, uh, J. Jennings, dinky do, TikTok Queen has sent me likes. I've got 1,000 likes. And we've only been up for a few minutes. This is outstanding, guys. Thank you and your kindness. Uh, I love you, Scotty, for over the ocean you are a hoot. Larry Tipper, a dinky do to you. We thank you. It would be nice to hear your family history when you have more time. My family give the monks the land to build Paisley Abbey in about, I don't know, 1120 or something. Something like that. Can't remember. But uh, they've certainly been about for a very long time. It's very strange because when somebody says, can you check your heritage? It just doesn't take very long. It's all there. You can see it. And I, I ask, the only thing is, do you find when an elderly family relative passes, you wish you'd ask them more questions? I find that. Dinky do. There we have it. Uh, no way, says Jeff. Absolutely, Jeff. I can tell you. Uh, what have we got? Nicola, uh, we should just have a UK-wide vote on the next prime minister. Well, some random drummer. Um, you know, quite interesting. They, they might put Scotty McClure in then, but I'm apolitical. Bro, get to your bed. No, bro, you get to your bed. Yes, there we are. Follow us as soon as you can. For sure, I missed so much. Absolutely, Alexander. Good morning, Scotty. Nice to see you looking so well. First person on radio, Robert Spence. You're a very, very kind man and very, very thoughtful. Two people have given me, a, what do we call it, a hand-held heart. Isn't that lovely? Shall I change it? What a guy, dinky do, Craig. Good morning, Scotty. Wonderful to have you all on here. Luke's just joined us. If you've just joined, guys, get following. We're live on TikTok. Scotty for PM. Ah, yes. Uh, are you going to be on Ski Monday? Are you going to be in Ski Monday? Ski Monday. Is that a, a television program? I asked you. There's Jason, dinky do, Jason. Lovely to have you with us and a very, very warm welcome. Uh, I'm going to change this one, guys. Right, so I'm going to change the handheld heart. Now, which one suits you lot? Let's see if we can change it here. Handheld heart. No, it's not letting me, is it? Letting me, oh, there we are. Handheld heart. So we're going to edit that. This is, I'm just learning this, guys, by the way, so you all know. And we're going to change that, and we're going to make it, shall we make it red roses? I think we'll make it red roses. We did daisies the other night. We'll make it red roses. Right there you have it, red roses. Wonderful. Uh, so we confirm that. That's one TikTok coin for a red rose. And uh, how many do we put? I don't know. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness me. So we put that and uh, we'll customize it. And we'll put um, 999 red roses. <laughs> and we'll leave that because that sets it up for hours. Uh, although I don't think anybody puts anything in if you're not actually live. Yes, the live goal will expire in four hours. Right, now I'm now going to change that, resetting it, and that should come up. There you are. Red roses, guys. Do you like that? And if you like Scotty McClue, send him a red rose. And if 999 of you like Scotty McClue, that would be wonderful. 
There we have it. Fantastic. Now let's get rid of Sonia. Uh, she's a low life. There we are. Bye bye, low life. That's Sonia gone for being a dirty, filthy midden. Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. Thank you for contributing to the live goal, guys. Somebody sent me a red rose already. And Nikki McHugh sent thousands. There we are. Nice to hear a cheery voice. Not at all. Lovely to have you with us. And our dear friend from the Northwest sent hundreds as well. Just absolutely amazing. You people are beautiful. Fantastic. I love it. The TikTokers, I was just saying tonight, live on the phone in. I think TikTok is the way ahead for Scotty McClue. And that's pretty big stuff. It's taken us a while to check everything out. Hello, Scotty. I remember speaking to you live on Scott FM back in 1995. We'll never forget Mr. Martin. Oh, bless Mr. Martin, I say to you. Bro, is it 25 to 1 in the morning? Get to bed? No, you get to bed, bro. For all you know, I'm just getting up. So there we are, dinky do. Uh, absolutely, Tyler. Yes, thank you for that. Scotty, you're looking good, lad. I thank you, Jason. Yes. Uh, well done. Very, very kind of you. Uh, Lennon's just joined us and Macca has just joined us. If you've just joined, guys, get following, please. And we never, ever, ever asked for anything because Scotty McClure is always free at the point of delivery. However, if you're feeling flush, we've set a goal for red roses. <laughs> uh, fantastic. Yeah, thank you, do. Follow us as soon as you can. Thank you, Alexander. Uh, I'm your favorite student. I thank you, T. Uh, lots and lots of you here. Now, who have we got here? Thank you very much, Lennon. That's very kind of you. Uh, Larry has sent me five. Larry, we now have six red roses on the go. You are amazing, and I thank you. I wish the old Scotty was here. I'm no liking the lovey-dovey Scotty. My boss, ah, impossible. Yes, if the old Scotty was here, there would be no Scotty on TikTok. You know that. So I'm afraid you'll just have to uh, suck it up, as they say, um, you know, or find somebody far more outrageous. The lovey-dovey Scotty has to be. Uh, one day I hope we can speak from the Midlands. Roy, we can always speak from the Midlands. You should join us for the internet phone-in. It goes out at 9 o'clock on a Saturday evening, British summer time or Greenwich Mean Time, when the clocks change. Yes, when the clocks go back in the fall. Spring forward, fall back. The reason I popped up at this time, guys, was I wanted to see if we can get some of our American pals to come and join us. I can't wait to see your face when Scotland goes independent. Oh, man. Very, very good for Scotland. I will offer myself to run the media. Bring back lots more radio and television companies and newspapers to Scotland under Scottish ownership, owned by Scots, run by Scots for the benefit of the Scots. That's what we're needing to see. Scotland used to have its own stock market. It was Margaret Thatcher that finally wrecked the shop completely. There we are with jiggery pokery and skull duggery. Isn't it Sunday morning your time? Larry, we very often do Sunday morning, but we're just checking out different times at the moment. Thank you for putting a red rose into my goal. Very, very kind of you. Jeff's just sent me a whistle. So there we are. Then Ireland will unite. Wales and England can keep each other. Yes, Wales is a strange one. Somebody said to me, technically Wales is not a country, it's a principality. And that's why we have the Prince of Wales. So there you have it there. So see what you think. Maggie was the boss. Well, she was in a way my boss up. But, um, you know, she, she failed Scotland terribly. There we have it. Correct, says CK. Yes, quite correct, CK. You'll always get the truth from the clue. Sometimes on the TikTok, people argy-bargy with me. 
and the Algae Bargy will check out all the TikTok videos and you'll get the truth on there. People Algae Bargy and they're just Algae Barging for Algae Barging's sake. You know, follow us as soon as you can. Thank you, CK. That's excellent. Thank you, Kayak Tipper and others for contributing to the live goal. Yes. Very, very kind of you. We've now got six red roses in the live goal. What about that, guys? Maggie, yes, Davey, but we don't do that. I mean, we're respectable human beings on here. Whales love the Scots, pal. They do, CK. Uh, hey, where's we fat bothers this? I don't know, Stuart. You'll know as much as I do. In fact, perhaps even a lot more. Never, ever, ever heard any more of them. Larry Tipper, I thank you for your very, very kind generosity in sending me red roses towards the goal. Larry Tipper, guys, has just sent 24 red roses. Is that not beautiful? Slay! Thank you, Jessica. Not respectable when it comes to Thatcher. Uh, no, that's not respectable, May. I agree with you. That wasn't, uh, that wasn't fair. There we are. Uh, now, what have we got here? Davey thinks my boss can explain a lot. Uh, fantastic. Now then, the caveman has just joined us. Guys, if you've just joined us, get following. Very, very important. Get following as soon as you possibly can. Just became a top viewer. Stacey, you've just become a top viewer. How amazing is that? Uh, I'm UK. I'm nice. I like the Scotch people. Scottish people is the word. Yes, yeah, Scotch is a bit old-fashioned now. I hope it will welcome. Of course you would. Stacey sent me an ice cream cone. How are we doing, Scotty lad? Verstopper? I phoned your radio show 20-odd years ago. Lou, what about some even years? Did you ever phone then? 30 red roses sitting in the goal, guys. Uh, I tell you, it wasn't fair taking milk away from the children. No, mate, it wasn't. That was not fair at all. Thatcher the milk snatcher. Do you remember that one? Did you do, I say? Who's giving me 31 red roses? Jeff. Jeff has gone bananas with the red roses and has given me 20 red roses. 22. 22 red roses. Jeff, you've gone over the top there. It must be a bit like filling up the car. <laughs> you know, you try and get it to round figures and it just goes past to a penny more. There we are. So I stop at a penny less. 53 red roses, guys. Are you not just so beautiful? Thank you, Jeff. Bit of a late one tonight, Scotty. Verse stopper, don't you want too late? Thank you, Jeff, for 22 Beautiful red roses. Very, very kind of you. And dinky do I say. Have you been up to Edinburgh Fringe Festival this year, Scotty? Master and commander of the seas. How lovely to have you with us. No, I haven't. I do another project usually in uh, July. And I miss out on the fringe. But I'll tell you, I used to go to the fringe a lot, of course. And I've appeared at the fringe. I can remember being on Radio 4. Uh, at Edinburgh Fringe. There, Jeff says, yes, I own a Range Rover. Yes, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Is there a fish supper under the hat, Malazzi? There we are, Pandy. Not everybody has your lifestyle. Um, if I was, it would have been eaten. Follow us, guys. Thank you, do. Thank you very much. Kaza, thank you for following Scotty McClue. That's very, very kind of you. Guys, I've got 50 Three red roses. 53. You guys are amazing. Uh, so there we are. Now, don't be rude. Don't be rude, my boss. Huh? We don't want anybody rude on here. I don't like the new rude, my boss. I prefer the old lovey-dovey one. There we are. Fantastic. Um, follow us as soon as you can, guys. Thank you very much, Mr. Reverend. Dinky do, Scotty, my old pal, Demon. How are you? How good to have you with us. Welcome, welcome. Scotty, you rocket lol. Gallus lass, a dinky do, you rocket lol. There we are. Good stuff. Uh, my boss is giving us a smile there. 
He understands exactly where I'm coming from. See what I just did there, Mabasa. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. Thank you very much. And uh, we never asked for anything, but I've noticed that in the goal for Red Roses, we've now got 53. Where are you from, says Scott? I'm from TikTok, Scott. I'm a child of the universe. Scotty, who's your favourite comedian growing up? Definitely Billy Connolly. Lex McLean, Walter Carr. Yeah, it was a different style of comedy, but they were outstanding. Um, Jack Mulroy, Ricky Fulton, Stanley Baxter. You know, uh, I like Kevin Bridges. You know, I could take a bit of Frankie Bile. All that sort of stuff. Um, so, fantastic. Scotland says Lucifer. Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. Thanks, 5919. Frank Carson. I loved Frank Carson. You know, I was hearing one tonight about a chap, a chap from Ireland that uh, had murdered somebody in an acid bath, and he lost a hand pulling the plug out. That sort of stuff that he used to get, you know, where's that come from? Have you ever interviewed anybody famous? Oh, yes. Get on Scotty McClue's YouTube channel. Jeff. Jeff's given us another six red roses. We now have 59 red roses. Can somebody give me one, please, to take it to 60? Uh, there we are. Fantastic. Out of the blue, don't be silly. There we are. All the best Scottish comedians come from the West Coast. Ah, oh, there were stacks of them. Nice to see you, Scotty. You used to listen to your Century Radio. But Reverend, we loved Century Radio. Everybody's now given me a red rose, and we've got 62. I thank you. Good evening from Beaumont in Isla. Stacy. Stacy is giving me red roses, guys. Thank you, Stacy. That's beautiful. There we have it. We've now got. 70, 70 red roses out of 9.99. Bill Barkley in the East Coast. Yeah, I love Bill. Super guy. They were great. I'll tell you who was a great comedian. Uh, up in Dundee, George Duffus. Do you remember George? Lovely, lovely, lovely man. Taken from us far too soon. Larry Tipper, Dinky Doo, very funny. Him and I used to have some banter at dinners. There you have it. You're still on the radio. Uh, no, Lou, we came off the radio uh, a couple of years ago. What's Larry Tipper doing? Larry, what are you doing, La? You will bankrupt yourself with your kindness. Larry Tipper has given me 70 red roses. 70. Seven, 75. 80. 80 red roses. Larry. What are you doing? 90 red roses. Larry, this is, what are you doing? 100 red roses from the lovely Larry Tipper. 100 red roses, kindness. I've now got 185 red roses. What are you all like? Uh, that's a shame. Loved your show. Well, Lou, it depends. We might get back on the radio, but it needs a very switched on programmer. I've made about two hundred million pounds for media moguls over the years. I haven't had that STV STV at night. That'd be great. Brilliant, Larry. Tipper by name. Tipper by nature. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Larry. We're at a hundred and eighty-five. 185. You can't say further than that unless you can't pronounce your Fs or your THs. Thank you to everybody who has contributed to the Red Roses tonight. We've set a Red Rose goal just for a bit of fun. And you beautiful people have way, way, way uh, overstepped the mark with your kindness. Uh, what have we got there? I don't know what that means. Don't know what you mean, Peter. Doesn't ring a bell with me. Uh, fantastic. Brian's there. Guys, can you follow me as soon as you come on? We need to get the followers up. We've got 1,600 likes. If everybody watching now wants to go tap, 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 tap on their screens, that would be great. 
just to let everybody know we're live and we'll share it. Uh, I'm 76% Scottish. How did you work that one out, Larry? That's brilliant. Uh, thank you for sharing the live. Wonderful. And thank you for all the likes. Who, Jeff, Jeff, what are you playing at? Jeff has gone away and reloaded his Red Roses, and he's now sent me another 30. Another 40. Wow, another 50. Another six. Jeff, how can you do two at the one time? That's a skill. Jeff has sent me, he's coming up to 100 Red Roses, guys. 75 and 9. 84 red roses. We're now at 269. Wow, my heritage DNA test. Love it, Larry. 76% Scots. Uh, do you think Scotland should be independent? I think, Lou, for Scotland's economic survival, it should be independent. I mean, Scotland, these people that are running the UK at the moment are completely clueless about Scotland. Uh, or they'd never come out with the nonsense they've come out with. Do you know what I mean? So uh, I think for its own survival and sanity, Scotland should be independent. Thank you for that beautiful red rose there. Who sneaked one in? Larry sneaked another one in. 270 red roses. Larry, thank you. That was very, very, very generous. The people tonight are, are very... What do you think of Nicola Sturgeon? Well, an outstanding world leader, and she didn't deserve the cheek she got from uh, one of the candidates. They were, where are you from? And I'm Aberdeen in Scotland, James Hayden. Fantastic to know you're in Aberdeen. Well, not to know you're in Aberdeen, to ken you're in Aberdeen. Fit like a necht, loon. Fools your doos. Are you chaffing a war? I think you should speak a Doric. Fantastic. 270 red roses, guys. That's just incredible. Lou is laughing away there. God loves you. A lot of us. God doesn't just love me. God adores me. And I adore God. You know, it's just amazing. Are you ready to take part of the debt that Scotland has as part of the UK? Well, Leon. That would be a conversation because Scotland didn't uh, run that debt up. You know, is uh, Westminster ready to do reparation of damages with Scotland? Rebuild Linlithgow Palace? That sort of stuff. Aha, you speak gaily, Jeff. Fantastic. James, thank you very much for your love heart. Where is the whiskey? The whiskey is on the west coast of Scotland. And the East Coast of Scotland. Fantastic. Have you heard of Top G? Yes, indeed, Peter. We used to do a car program on here on YouTube. Scott McLeod's YouTube channel. The referendum will shine a light on what we think of each other. Alexander C. Hall, I think it will bring Scotland together. You know, fantastic. Uh, I heard Rishi the other night going... Absolutely balmy to look at a divisive, just nonsense. Balmy nothing. What would be balmy would be staying under the Tories in Westminster. That's balmy. Uh, Scott McClure, we should just get rid of Scotland and make it extra England. Well, Father Spiffmash, you could do that or you could extend Scotland down to Watford. And just cut the southeast loose, and they could uh, just sort themselves out. I Scotty, you think you do rebuild Hadrian's Wall? I hope so. A referendum will cause a civil war. No, it won't. Not if you're under the crown. One of the things that they didn't have at the last referendum was the loyalist vote, and that was very silly of them. So if we ensure that Her Majesty the Queen, our sovereign lady, is the head of state in an independent Scotland because it's nothing to do with the monarchy, the political side, they're apolitical, then I think you'll get the loyalist vote. So we're under the crown and under the saltire and the old union flag will have to just flutter away. No, Rep, there'll be no civil war at all. What do you think of Presswick, says Cameron? We love Presswick. 
Uh, if you fancy using the E-type or the E-type, Celtic Rangers says son is goat. Best advice I can give you, son is goat, is go and see them both play and then just make up your mind. Guys, we're at 271 red roses. You'll see the goal. See where my cap badge is. Well, I've set a goal there. And if anybody's feeling flush, if you wanted to pop a red rose in, that would be great. And I'll give you a mention. We've had some very, very, very generous people tonight going absolutely bananas on the red roses. Fantastic. And of course, I started at Red Rose Radio 30 years ago. So there we have it. Alexander, thank you for that beautiful red rose. We're at 2,200 likes, guys. And we've got 271 red roses. If anybody fancies making it 272, I am in the north and I love the Queen. Scotland loves the Queen. God save our Queen, says Turet 146. There we are. What does Sturgeon think about staying under the crown? Well, she knows that that's what we're doing. Because remember, she is Her Majesty's First Minister in Scotland. She would have to um, swear her oath of allegiance to the Queen to get her warrants to be commissioned as a First Minister. Katie and user have just sent a red rose. Aren't you beautiful, guys? Mwah. We love you. Thank you for following, Kaz. Everybody on TikTok should follow Scotty McClue. Yes, indeed. Get following as soon as you can. There are lots and lots of videos for you guys. So make sure you're up there with the best of them. We're at 273 roses. Can you see that? I'll just have a look and see what's happening. That's so beautiful of you guys. Oh, wow. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Thank you very much. Can you follow me as soon as you come on? Very, very important. Get following. If you haven't followed Scotty McClue, please do so. We'll have a follow fest. And uh, you, you don't have to send a red rose. But if you're feeling flush and you can manage one TikTok coin, Mary, Queen of Scots, oh, she was a wee soul. If we're forced into independence or raise the troops to the Union's cause, no, Rep, there's no Unionist cause. I think you don't understand it. That would be the Queen fighting herself. She's not going to do that. Do you see what I'm saying? So there's no Unionist cause there. There has never been a Unionist cause. There's no case. For the Union, it's a con. It's built on sand. So there you are, 2 rep 146. Do you drive, Jeff? Of course I drive. Thank you very much for contributing to the live go, guys. 273 red roses. Wow. Um, there we are. Uh, I would never, ever, ever comment on that, Libertine. There we are. Yes, never, ever comment on that. Uh, why don't our schools teach it was a Scottish king that created the United Kingdom? Uh, yes, well, no, it was actually a Scottish queen uh, that created the United, the, the United Kingdom. Scotland and England were created by the Union of the Crowns in 1603. So you're correct. But the United Kingdom didn't appear until 1707 and even later for Northern Ireland, 1922, the annexation of the six counties. And Wales, of course, is a principality. Uh, a Scottish king on the English throne. Well, no, Scotland took over the crown, the joint crown. So the crown is actually a Scottish institution. Uh, Scotty, it's title, yes, AJ. Hello, Scotty, you're back. I am Kareem, yes. We did a late night pop-up just to see who was about, hoping we could speak to a lot of our American followers and fans, Kareem. That's what we're doing there. What would you do with 1K, 1,000 pounds? What would I do with 1,000 pounds? 
parents, says Peter. Wow, I don't know. I would need to have a thousand pounds. It would be a bit of a shock. I can tell you that. Fantastic stuff. Uh, I think probably I'd put it towards my overdraft. Yes, indeed. Uh, Kareem Dinkidu, lovely to have you with us, and thank you very much for two beautiful TikToks. Um, Kareem, don't you ever feel obliged to give anything? You are so generous. I've got a go. I've got a go running tonight. You'll see it in my cap badge for red roses, and we've reached two hundred and seventy-four. Uh, so if somebody wants to make it 275, that would be amazing. There we are. In fact, I think it's just become 275. Thank you, wishing bottles. Oh, my goodness. Larry is back. Larry has been so kind tonight. 275, Larry. I thank you. You're very, very kind. Apparently, I can tap it and see that it's registering properly. I can do all that. So I'm just going to do that. I don't know if you lose me. Well, we're checking out the goal. No, there it is, 275. Jeff has sent 113. There we are. Roy of the Black Country, 15. Stacy has sent 9. JC, 2. Old Bird, 1. Zalander, 1. Kareem has sent 1. And then we've got loads from earlier, from the wonderful Nicky McHugh sent fortunes. I don't know. Amazing. Daisies as well. Kareem, you're very, very kind. I hope you've had a good evening. Loved your call earlier. Oh, Kareem. Uh, okay, I'm a Scottish orangeman, and I support independence because we should govern ourselves. Of course we should, Raymond. Why should people like you be tied to some historical setup that doesn't let you do anything? There we are. Queen Anne. Yes, it was Queen Anne Alexander. Uh, she died in 1714. So there, she was the last of the Stuarts. So she was effectively a Scot. But she was quite, she had quite a temper on her, Queen Anne. And she did a lot of skullduggery and jiggery pokery and bribed the Scottish nobles to sell Scotland for, a, I think, between about 1,500 and 2,000 quid would be the total bill for Scotland. I might buy it back for two and a half without seeing it. Scotty, how are you? Charlie shared the live. This is beyond a joke. Go to bed. T, you go to bed. There we are. Fantastic. Scotty, how are you feeling tonight? Wasn't there a Dean King? Uh, are you thinking of, was it Ethel Red? Was he Danish? And there was Angus. No, he wasn't Danish. Uh, there was the Battle of Ale Stainford. Uh, so there may well have been a Scottish Danish king. You see, Prince Philip was Danish. Everybody used to think Prince Philip was Greek, but he was Danish. Yes, his, his grandfather, I think it was, was asked to take over the throne. Was it his father? No, it was his grandfather, I think, was asked to take over the Greek throne. And um, there we are. Dinky do. Thank you, Charlie. Dinky do. Uh, Scotty, you're going to get some sleep soon. I am, Lewis. Yes. I'm going to go and have a wee cup of tea. Uh, Scotty, the person on the live. Dinky do. Uh, now then, what do we got here? Scotty, how have you been? Very well, Drew. Thank you for asking. You're very kind. Guys, we're at 275 red roses. If anyone fancies making it 276, Please send me one, and that'd be brilliant. I'm English. I believe in Scottish independence. So there we have it now. I don't know what that is. Yes, that doesn't ring a bell. Right. Now, who else have we got here? Ethelred killed the Danes. Oh, did he? Was that where I got it from? 1604, King James of Scotland united the nations after the death of Queen Elizabeth I in 1603. That's it. Yes, you're quite right. Good, good. Well, it's certainly the union of the crowns, and that became the British king. 
But in those days, it would just be Scotland and England. Even if got a long time, new job for me these days, Jill, fantastic. Can you give a big shout out to Leona, says Kenneth. Of course I can, Kenneth. Anything for you, no problem at all. Thank you, old Bud, and the others for contributing. Kareem's taken us up to 284. Wow. Fantastic, Kareem. 285. Guys, 285 red roses out of the 999. Is that not beautiful? 286. Wow, Kareem. Wow, Kareem, stop. You'll bankrupt yourself. There we have it. Kareem has just become a top viewer. He's sending me red roses. Uh, Raymond, dinky do. The Scottish were sent as landowners to Ireland. Big part of the problem. Well, it wasn't all Scots that were sent. I think you're talking about the plantation when they planted people in the north. Yes, indeed. Not a great idea and a bit of a problem. But, um, you know, people should be able to get their head around that now. Karima sent me seven red roses. We're sitting at 291. There we are. Fantastic. Thank you, guys. Very kind of you. Look at the red rose goal. If you look at my cat badge right now, you'll see the red rose goal, and it's sitting there. Uh, Larry, Larry, you've been so generous. Please stop. There we are. I do worry about you. There we are. 300. We've done it, guys. 300 red roses. Is that not beautiful? Uh, what have we got here? Very hot and humid here in Canada. I've just got off the links. Drew, fantastic. What uh, time is it in Canada and whereabouts in Canada are you? 4,000 likes, guys. Is that not beautiful? Bro, dinky do. Thank you, T. Hello from Coat Bridge. Uh, there we are. English believe in independence. He hates the English. No, I don't hate anybody at all. I adore the English. Absolutely adore England. I've worked there, for goodness sake, highly successfully. No, 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 no. I don't hate at all. I don't have hate in my language. I met one very, very, very bad man once who took a lot of money off me in business. Very bad man. He turned out to be one of these uh, narcissistic sociopaths with problems. And, um, you know, and he'd done it all his life to people, to innocent people, uh, ruining their lives with his carry on. Anyway, that's the only bad man I've ever met. And I don't hate anybody. I never, ever would. Uh, Scotty, well, hey, yes, Ulster Scots, they sent them to America. You still on the radio, Scotty? I'm not with hey. I, uh, I came off the radio about a couple of years ago, but I may go back on. Uh, you know, thank you, love. I'm listening to you. Uh, thanks, sorry. Thank you. Love listening to you. Thank you, Kenneth. Thank you for listening. Uh, love having you on here. Thanks, Scotty. I'm a support worker. What an awesome occupation. Jill, fabulous, fabulous occupation. You top person. I want to go to sleep. T, you can go to sleep. You're free to go to sleep night, night. So am I being silenced? Now, of course you're not being silenced, you're right. You're just being corrected. It's a correction. 300 red roses. Uh, and thank you. Larry's just sent me another nine. Jeff sent me another 10. Wow. Jeff, that's enough. He's gone past the 10. Oh, my goodness me. Alexander has sent me a red rose as well. Thank you. Larry sent another nine. Just a quick one. Why is the USA not allowed to have a king or queen? Well, Jeff, I'll tell you a true story that most Americans will not know. 325 red roses, guys. Um, so generous. So beautiful of you all. Thank you. It's very, very humbling. As I say, McLuhan never asks for anything. But we set a goal there and 325 red roses. From beautiful people. So let me tell you the story about America and the monarchy. America, after the War of Independence, had got clear of the British monarchy.
They were desperate for a king. So they approached Scotland's Bonnie Prince Charlie, Charles Edward Stuart of the Stuart line. Yes, indeed. And um, they wanted him to be their king. But he was elderly by that time and he wasn't in terribly good health. And he said no, because he knew that when he died, uh, there would be a risk that the Hanoverians would try to succeed again. And uh, America would be under the English kosh. So, uh, so he didn't take it. But there you are. He died in 1786. And uh, the famous story, you may have heard me tell you this before, the famous story, I knew an old gentleman who, when he was younger, wrote to an old gentleman whose grandfather remembered Bonnie Prince Charlie walking about Rome in the uh, late 1700s. So I knew a guy who knew a guy who knew a guy who knew Bonnie Prince Charlie. And the old guy was a Scottish aristocrat, so would probably have known him quite well. They would have been on more than nodding acquaintance terms. Uh, so there you are. So the USA could have a king any time. You know, I mean, you could invite Queen Elizabeth. She's 97 now. But you could invite her to be your queen. Uh, or when uh, Prince Charles takes over. Now, he's got, I think Prince Charles has got a Stuart bloodline. So you could invite him to be the king of America. Uh, the English believe in independence. So there we are. Fantastic stuff. Uh, no, it's just that you told, uh, you told a whopper to rep. You mustn't tell whoppers. We're on Ontario, Canada. It's 8.06 p.m. How amazing. I uh, you know when they sent there as guards for the plantations, mostly Protestant. They were mostly Protestant, but nowadays I don't think it matters. People are more Christian than the Catholic and Protestant. Uh, then moved on to the Americas. That's where the Ulster Scots came from. Uh, it was a Scott FM you were on back in the day. It was, Stuart. We were on Scott FM, and we loved it. Fantastic stuff. dinky do. Guys, we're at 326 red roses. I'm going to have to go in a minute. So if anybody else wants to put a red rose in, you're very welcome. Uh, adore the last referendum created such hostility towards the English. I witnessed brutality due to, well, two red, one for six. The, that was caused by idiots who had no understanding of politics. So there you are. So if you witnessed any of that, it was nothing to do with the referendum and nothing to do with, uh, you know, should we stay or should we go? You know what I mean? That was just ignorance. That was what caused that. Jeff has sent another 24 red roses and Alexander sent me another one. Thank you, Alexander C. And dinky do, I say to you. Thanks, Scotty. Appreciate your kind words, man. Geo, not at all. You seem a lovely man. You need to understand the racism in DRF created. No, it created zero racism. You're talking about xenophobia. That's a different thing. There we are. What station am I on now, Scott? You're on TikTok. Thank you, Kareem. It's so lovely to have you with us. Thank you, Alicia. Thank you from Jacksonville in Florida. Hello, AJB. Sing a bit of Mr. Brightside. <laughs> guys, I'm going to have to dash. It's been an absolute blast. I love you guys. Stay fabulous. And we'll all catch up again soon. This is Scotty McClure saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. Stick out your tongue and say ta-ta. Here we go. Ta-ta.